from the Great Pyramid of Khufu in the northeast of the necropolis to Kafir's Pyramid and to the smaller Pyramid of Menkaur in the southeast. The southeastern corners of all three Giza pyramids are lined diagonally. The structures were arranged deliberately, so each of these corners pointed directly to the Temple of Ra at Heliopolis, and in concert with the constellation Orion, pharaohs of the fourth dynasty believed themselves directly descended from Ra, so by angling their pyramids perfectly, their tombs were a natural part of the daily life cycle of the sun at the heart of their religion. Just as important to the pharaohs, as their pyramid was a secret chamber called Serdab, a Serdab was close to the pharaoh's mummy, where his cause statue, the statue holding the king's life essence after death was kept. Ancient Egyptians believed that if the pharaoh's mummy was destroyed, his spirit could live on inside the Ka statue. Given the very real threat of tombs being robbed and looted the Serdab, and Ka statue were hugely important to the pharaoh maintaining a pleasant and peaceful afterlife. Two hundred years after the Pyramid of Menkaur was built, came the Pyramid of King Anas at Saqqara on the walls of its burial chamber. The pyramid texts were found. Magical spells in hieroglyph form met to help King Anas' soul leave his body and commence its journey to the afterlife. Tourists and Cairo locals attempt to climb to the top of the Great Pyramid of Khufu more often than you think. Most are arrested or detained on site before being let go without charge because under Egyptian law climbing the pyramid is prohibited but not illegal. Casing stones displayed the precision of Egyptian pyramid building. These stones were white, polished limestone caps that covered the stone we see today. During the 12th century, Al-Aziz Uthman, the second Ayyubid Sultan of Egypt and son of Saudi, made an aborted attempt to demolish the Great Pyramids of Giza. Al-Aziz employed a massive crew of workmen to bring down Menkaur's temple but the cost, time, and sheer physical difficulties the pyramid stones and sand presented met the job was scrapped. Within a year, the Sultan's efforts resulted in only a vertical gouge left in the north face of the smallest Great Pyramid. The Great Pyramids were built by workmen, not slaves. Despite the claims of the famous Greek historian Herodotus in his writing. Entire towns were built alongside the pyramids, where farming families often worked on the pharaoh's amazing building projects while waiting for crops to grow. In recent years, archaeologists have found evidence of these towns' professional builders and stonemasons and their tools. Worker cemeteries have been excavated close to the pyramids of Khufu and Kafir, and have also been explored in Luxor and the Valley of the Kings. The more we learn about the pyramids, the more questions appear. Despite many theories, ramps and pulleys, water-aided stone sleds, rolling wooden ramps, and massive causeways, there is no concrete evidence explaining exactly how these giant stones were lifted into place and secured. Researchers have been unable to copy the mortar binding pyramid. Stones, despite understanding what it's made of, 
scientists have found possible hidden chambers using heat imaging and satellite technology, but so far haven't figured out what's in them or their purpose. So much of the great Egyptian pyramids remains a mystery for amateurs and professionals alike.